Let's talk some Craig Council. I'm Grant Bills. That's Paul Immig. Here's Bart Winkler. Um, <laughs> sure. What do you got, Paul? Close enough. We were in the in the Packers discussion we had recently. We were talking about, and very recently, might I say. Mm-hmm. There, I, I don't know if you guys have thought about this, uh, talked about this. The parallels that clearly exist between, or might seem to be clear, that Devontae Adams, he didn't really go explore the market until he felt undervalued by his current team. Craig Council is exploring the market to see what he's worth. We all thought he was managing for the Brewers in 2024, or he was going to go watch his son play baseball in college for a few years and take some time off. Maybe he'd be a, an honorary member of the front office. He's take Council has now taken multiple job interviews for managerial openings. So I don't want to talk yet about maybe... So this is one of those if yes, then who. So we're going to get to that. But if the news breaks that Craig Council has agreed to be the manager of a different team, you're going to be mad about the situation. And then we'll get into like, if yes, then who. We'll try I, this I, one on for size. Yeah. I'm already as mad as I will be if he leaves. I'm already mad that it got to this point. Because it's like you're with someone and then instead of, you know, giving her the ring, you go, all right, but just go sell some more wild oats just to make sure that you lo- like you lock her up if she's the one. Now you're letting him go. Like, don't if council is going to just try to have some conversations or get a free trip or whatever, or, you know, want to just negotiate and, and bring the money up. If you're Mark, don't let don't let him. Don't let somebody else put a piece of paper in front of you that you can like you get caught up with things. I you ever go and like buy a car and want to test drive? You get kind of caught up where you're like, fuck, am I buying a car right now? Am I, am I gonna buy a car? And you have to like, no, 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 because there's but you just gotta, you know, no, no, I'm not doing it. The, if you put him in these other situations, he could be like, fuck it, am I the manager of the guardians? And then by the next thing you know, you sign him all of a sudden, you, you whoa. Don't don't get him in that situation. The fact that Mark has let these interviews happen, absolute failure by him. Absolute failure. 100%. Grant. 100%. Grant, if news breaks that council has agreed to be the manager of a different team, you're going to be mad about it. Yeah. <laughs> because because I think if that happens, it will be because the Brewers didn't match whatever money he can make elsewhere. I don't think council. So, so it's li- so it's literally Devonte. So like, even if the Brewers then say, "Okay, fine, 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 we'll give you that money," the Mets are going to give you just like the Packers did with Devonte. It's too late. I've explored elsewhere, and I'm going to do that. I don't. I don't think. That I, no. I. I think. No. So in that way, there's no par- in no parallel. Like I think the Mets. Let's say they offer him six million, and Mark's like, eh, "I can do four point two. Mark's <laughs> like, "Okay, well then I'm going to go to New York." That's the situation where I will be very, very mad. Now, if Council just wants a new challenge and he wants a team with a bigger payroll and, you know, whatever, Brian Anderson's doing it, David Stearns is doing it, everyone wants to go somewhere else and, like, go where there's good players. Fuck. And money. Like, what if Council just wants to do that, I I guess I'd tip my cap. I'd be really bummed um, because I guess the naive, you know, Wisconsin sports fan in me, the guy who grew up here as a Brewers fan, thought that, you know, there was was something – it was something there with council and he, this did mean something to him. And this was special. Maybe it was for a time, but I thought it would be forever. So if, if, if he leaves because the brewers aren't willing to pay him what he can get elsewhere, and that is the sole reason he leaves, I will be pissed. If he goes somewhere else because he wants a new challenge and a new opportunity with more money and more resources. I mean, I, I guess if the brewers offered him the money and he still wanted to go somewhere else, what do you, what do you do other than be sad? You know, you can't, you can't be asking people to pay for your stadium when you won't pay for Craig Council, also. But well, I don't think, I don't think we'll ever know the answer to Grant's questions, though, that it was because of the money or it was because of a, cha- a new challenge. Like, you might get like a snippet version of kind of the half truth of something during a press conference. Oh, but well, I don't think, I don't think you, if Council signs tomorrow with the Mets, I don't think you're going to know, like, well, if, if Mark had just paid, this amount he would have stayed, but he wouldn't. So now we're just going to frame it as council wants. It's not just about how much Craig council earns on a paycheck. Mark should have done anything. Assuage, assage, assuage, 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 any assurances. Craig, what is it that you would be looking for in these other teams? Well, I want more money done. I want us to spend more money done. 
Is there any chance? I want, if he's like, I want to live in Queens. Well, then it's like, well, I can't fucking do that for you. By the way, did you see the story that was planted that uh, like, I don't know, four or five days ago where it was like Craig and his wife have always really liked New York. And so this was I, one of the national reporters in MLB. It was like, and his wife always really enjoyed living in New York. So the Mets do have that going for them. I was like, uh oh, like you're already planting like, ooh, Craig and the wife like the city. That's a bad little nugget if if your goal is to keep but is there any chance that mark believes what the three of us talked about a couple weeks ago which is you kind of know maybe how far you're going to go with craig as your manager and even though it could be much worse with a different manager you need to take that gamble that the next manager is going to bring you to that next level that like but if Mark no. really want, when Mark Mark's really wanted, that, he doesn't, he can't think like that. When he Mark thinks. really wanted a soccer team, he got a soccer team. When Mark really wanted that trading card, he got the trading card. If he really wanted counsel, he could have counsel. He, I mean, like I, I know budgets, and I know even like multimillionaires have budgets, and that's fine. But like, if he really wanted counsel, he can have counsel. Yeah, if he but left, that, that is, go. he has the money to do that. So why does he maybe not? want counsel there, there there's something there i i also and i brought this up with brett and tosa on my show and brett vehemently disagreed brett's a big mark atanasio guy and i am not an atanasio guy but i am someone that realizes that this fan base blames him for lots of things that i don't think are his fault yes and absolutely. that is unfair yes Stephen a smith voice however it will be interesting if we think the money is comparable and he chooses to leave anyways, you got David Stearns who got so burned out and so frustrated with the process and what everything was going on in Milwaukee that he was like, I need to step away from baseball for a year and was never in the building. He was ne- nobody ever saw him. He went to and Oakland. Euros. I saw him at Oakland Euros. Yeah. Exactly. And then he goes and God, I keep hearing about how far the ballpark is from downtown. So that's, I mean, geez, he was nowhere near the stadium. Then he goes to New York where the media pressure is higher, where the expectations are higher. And then Craig Council, with the money being equal, is like, I'm actually going to go somewhere that I've never lived before. I'm going to leave my hometown team. I think that's an indictment on Mark and what it's like to work in that organization. I don't know that everyone has a great time all of the time. So mm. that's, that's something I think about. And if, and if, and if Craig Council leaves – you know, for any reason other than I want a bigger payroll and I'm I'm just not going to get that in Milwaukee, it's not reasonable, then I'm going to be pissed at Mark. And I don't normally get pissed at him. Again, I, I, a lot of these things aren't his fault and fans blame him, but I will blame him for this. Either way, if Craig leaves, it's Mark's fault because he either didn't pay him enough or he instituted a culture that was shitty to work in where the grass looked greener on the other side. But, but Or you're Craig Council. And again, much like how I was saying a couple weeks ago, you've hit your head against the same wall, the same playoff wall. Yeah, it's Mark's same- fault. If Craig leaves, it's Mark's fault. Full. My point is, at, least, con- at least consider the possibility that I would feel no, the same Mark's way. Not if, no, no. If year after year, I was the manager of a team that got to the same point or just about the same, and I could never climb that final rung to get Mark's over the top. Fault. Maybe, fine. But I'm just saying that beyond like culture or whatever else, that would make me want to try something else. Sure. I, I, Someone I, else will will use Mark Canna better. That's what we're looking for in the postseason, yeah. and I guarantee. Yeah. Them. Although I know yeah, what you're saying, I I'm I don't know you why. Know what? Having, Council why can leave. Mark Canna. You 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 get you, you want you just get out of here. You play Jesse Winker, and then you play him in both. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, you bring it. <laughs> I saw a tweet where someone, it was one of Onabam's tweets, and someone responded with that screenshot of Jonah Hill and Moneyball meeting Brad Pitt in the parking garage. And the caption was, Sir, I think it's awesome that you pinch hit Jesse Winker twice in the wild card series. God, that was fucking funny. Um, yeah. It's Mark's fault. I love that. I love that bar. If Craig Council leaves, it's it's one way or another, it's Mark Atanasio's fault. There, there's worlds in which I will blame him more, but. For whatever reason he ends up leaving, it will be Mark's fault. Yes. And I mean, so and, and if Craig leaves, Craig, Craig, no, if Craig fine. leaves, does it, how do you feel it means for taking a step back or not? Like, is it, are you indifferent towards the Brewers 2024 season with or without him? Does it change your, I think that's a conversation for another day. I know Grant, I, needs I will, I will say that. I think that's a good one though. Like, like maybe, if, maybe a week from now, Craig has, well, Left. well, something yeah. to think about. Maybe we talk about this next week. Maybe we get council news. Maybe we've already gotten it and it's been inserted into the podcast. But what if Burns is gone, Woodruff's not available, and council's not the manager anymore? 
What kind of opening day is that? I love the Brewers. I'm going to be watching. So that's, I'm not indifferent, but it's going to feel weird and it's going to feel really different. If how many hours of the world? Craig, how many you, hours of the world? You, were you motivated by by when Devontae Adams put a last dance? Did you did, you, did that make you think that you might have a last dance with Milwaukee? 